Good morning. Happy Thursday. Just dropped off our car. Yep. At Volkswagen. And I, I don't remember Ooh, when glare. this whole service department thing started where you have to have appointments. The guy's like, since you don't have an appointment, it'll be like five days. Oh my gosh. I'm like, five days? And do you do loaner cars anymore? No, we don't do that anymore. <laughs> not not, not since uh, COVID. I'm like, ah. Uh. Yet one more reason why I love living near my mama. We'll because, just rent a car probably. Well, she'll give me a ride if I need to go someplace because mama's. <laughs> And then, um, and then our, our driveway is going to be clearing out because Caleb also needs to take his car in first for an alignment. We need to see what's going on. We need an alignment and then the damage, you know, he doesn't, teenage driver, doesn't have collision insurance because right. that would cost a fortune. Yes. And so college. I looked up everything online and it looks like I can just buy all new panels. Like, forget trying to pull out the dance. So you can just buy all new panels and it'll cost like 500 bucks. Now, and you're gonna try this yourself. I'm gonna do it myself. He'll have a multicolor car, but that's okay, because I'm not capable of painting it. But who cares? At least they won't have dents anymore. It wasn't exactly like the hottest car in town before the accident. What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for a keto on the couch. Giggling. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So it's like 7.30 in the morning. I slept good last night. You slept good? I, I did. Slept, I don't even know when. We, we turned on Jaws 2, 2. And we were just out cold. And it was so funny that we, we made this whole closing video for, what is it? Yesterday was day four. Mm-hmm. And we made this whole closing thing, how we had this brisket, and like, we can't eat it, so I was gonna leave it out in the egg all wrapped up. And then we're laying there like, it's just not gonna be as good tomorrow. I know, so it wasn't like that we were hungry, it was just a case of, I wanna make sure we have a good bite when it's at its best. I was, we were a little noshy, so we each had like three pieces, and then we had to get up this morning and basically redo going to bed because we want to be honest and let you guys know we had, what we ate yeah and we did it counts. have some brisket at like nine o'clock but no kidding i ate those three pieces of brisket i don't remember anything in the jaws movie past the part where he's underwater this is literally the very beginning right where he where he's underwater and he does the he finds the orca and then they do the ribbon cutting for the hotel. You know what? That's I, about what I remember. You know what I remember? I remember it saying not directed by Steven Spielberg. And I remember saying like, oh, this one wasn't directed by Steven Spielberg. And then that was it. That was all I remember. <laughs> so we're starting day five. Definitely feeling good. I'm yeah. still, again, you're probably going to hear this a lot. I'm shocked that we don't want to eat more than we are eating. Um, electrolytes are pretty good during the day. Uh, you know, we have the keto chow drops. We have the new relight uh, capsules. Which Finally getting it tweaked. Somebody actually asked if those are going to break a fast. No, the vegetable capsules, they're, it's negligible. I would not worry about that at all. Um, and there's no sweetener or anything like that if you have worried about that. Uh, the only thing I have to work on is the magnesium. I'm definitely experiencing a little bit of cramping in my calves and stuff that I yeah. did last night. So that's gonna be magnesium. So I'm gonna to have to up the Keto Chow magnesium drops because uh, no night night juice. We can't drink night night juice because it's got sweetener in it. <laughs> if you're new to our channel, night night juice is the sleep aid from uh, Equip, which is really good. It definitely helps you go to sleep and it gives you the magnesium and it also keeps things flowing. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. I feel like we are fighting the sun. I need new glasses. The sun that may be the mission tomorrow. Is trying to kick my butt. So um I am gonna try to get some movement in because we actually have sun. It has been poor ring. Yes ever since we got home. And so Joe is going to go with Anthony to cut, the, cut church. the church. And um, I'm gonna try to get some movement and I'm gonna tape as much as I can. Hopefully I won't look super foolish, but I wanted to put that in there because coming back from Keto Palooza and doing Zumba and being in Bronson's um, talk, I'm so inspired to get my exercise in, to really prioritize it, and I feel very good. Mm -hmm. I feel ready for this, so let's do it. So for me, this is a a little bit of a busy day. I've got we got to cut the church, and we got to cut a couple of other houses. Come home, edit yesterday's vlog. We have a live stream tonight. Yeah, I have to get ready for my new iPhone tomorrow. So I definitely think it is time for some new work shoes. Look. There's my foot right there. Look, there's my sock. So what I like to do is when my shoes get kind of old and they don't look good anymore and you really don't want to be seen in public with them, those become my work sneakers. And then I go buy new sneakers for going around in public. These at this point, it's time to toss them. I mean, when your toes are sticking out and they're going like flippity flop and there's a hole in the bottom, they're no longer good for work either. It still amazes me what an ant can do. I've been watching this one ant Pull this big piece and then all of a sudden look at this everybody's coming over we're gonna get this we're all gonna help together it kind of feels like the keto community look at that every they're getting it it's just so cool to see those ants working together it's really like the keto community you know when we're out there by ourselves sometimes we just can't get it done we need that help we need the inspiration we need the motivation from other people who can grab our hand help us along the journey and ultimately achieve our goals. been a long day it's like 5 30 right now we haven't eaten other than that little bit of bread you saw this morning but we had so much work to do I mean this morning you know Anthony and I cut the church we cut a couple of other houses Rachel had a bunch of work that she needed to do she did a bunch of working out and then I ordered parts for Caleb's car to right now it's getting an alignment because I know we screwed up the alignment probably a tie rod or something like that and then what we decided to do was he doesn't have collision insurance on the car because you know, a teenage driver, way too expensive, especially on a car that was like $4,000 when we bought it. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna fix it myself. I ordered all of the parts from a place online called carparts.com. And basically what we'll be able to do is just change out all of the, I'm checking to see if this grill is hot, change out the fender, change out the hood, change out the bumper and then the broken light. I think all of the parts combined cost me 600 bucks with shipping and they'll be here on Tuesday or Monday. So I'll change all those parts out and then what we're gonna do is they come all primed. I will, I found a place online that's local that's gonna charge me like $500 to repaint the entire car, which is pretty cool. I mean, I'm sure it's not the greatest paint job in the world, but it'll definitely clean it up and it'll be cheaper than just repainting each one of the pieces. But it reminds me of a commercial when I was growing up. Let me know if any of you remember this commercial. Let us know down in the comment section. Uh, we used to have this place called Earl Scheib Painting and it was like, I'll paint any car for just $99.95. And it was a great place to go to get your car painted and then if you wanted to sell it or something like that. Of course, they painted everything. If you have little emblems on there, they painted right over that. Uh, what we're gonna do though, I figure beef, bacon, butter, and eggs. Let's have 
food from all four of our food groups. So we're gonna have some brisket, and I'm out here right now, and I'm gonna throw some bacon onto the Blackstone, and then we're gonna have some eggs, and then we're gonna have some butter, obviously, and then some of Maria Emmerich's protein bread. The protein bread, link for that is gonna be right up here. We are making the non-allulose version. It is literally just egg whites, egg white protein, which is egg whites, a little bit of cream of tartar to help stabilize the eggs, which you could leave out if you want, and some Redmond Real Salt. So this is actually our bacon uh, that you saw me cook in the smoker yesterday. I sliced a few pieces, but what we do is I stuck it in the freezer. We roll it up into like a circle and then we stick it in the freezer and then I can put it on my slicer. It won't fit unless I roll it up. Rachel. I have an idea. Okay. So we did the bacon. We just put it in the freezer so we can slice it up for tomorrow. Right. But we have some bacon ends. <gasps> yes. I got an idea. I just turned on the smoker. Let's, I've never done this. Let's put it on the smoker until after the live stream and see if we can make bacon candy. Basically like bacon jerky, but big chunks. It'll be bacon Let's candy. It'll completely it. cook it. What do you think? Yes, because look at all the fat in there. That's gonna be really good. So I got the smoker on, we can go do that. But before we do, I, I wanna say something to you. See that bag you're holding? That bag's not a Ziploc bag, that's an Aldi bag. I wanna say thank you because Aldi bags already are not that great. So at least you're buying the freezer bags right. because the regular storage bags, they're really garbage. I wanna say the Aldi Ziploc bags for freezer are equivalent to the name brand of the storage bags. Here's the thing. The Aldi bags are never for food. They're always for clothing when we are packing our bags. So if you're putting them in the refrigerator or freezer, that's your, that's your business. Now we will put something like this where like, okay, we're gonna put it in there, we're gonna take it out tomorrow or something like that, but long-term storage. Guaranteed freeze dry. Don't trust the Aldi bags. Okay, I already have a thing in there, so go ahead and open that up. Not that one, the other one. We're gonna put them on some heat. So put it over there on the left-hand side. And so we'll just easy. spread them out. Even Rachel can dump it. I got these mats on Amazon and they just make it so nothing like falls through. Because you want to lose the meats. Now, also I found these wings, they were about to go freezer burnt, so I figured we can't eat them, but you can go ahead and smoke them up. Maybe the kids will just munch on them. Nice idea. So go ahead and just throw them over on the other side. Oh, now I want chicken wings. No chicken wings. I really want chicken wings. Well, you shouldn't have got them out. They were gonna go freezer burn because somebody just put them in there and so. In an Aldi bag? Oh, look at that bacon. Let's go make some eggs. So here's the current family situation. I am having to keep the baby chicks on the other side of this fence still because these ladies will not work together. These big ones are pecking the babies. Yes, you know I'm talking about you, Bessie. You absolutely know I am talking about you. Every single time we have them get together, oh my gosh, and, and yes, oh my goodness, Naomi is totally the culprit. They start pecking the babies. I need you, Naomi, I need you guys to work together, okay? You're supposed to be leading by example, not leading with, with like intimidation. Why? Why are we behaving like this? Explain it to me, Shiloh. Explain it to me. These poor babies are so terrified of these biggins because they're, they're getting pecked. Tonight we're going to lock the big ones upstairs and we're gonna leave the babies downstairs and then mommy and daddy are going to get up really early and make sure that they're, we are there when the door opens and they come down because hopefully they'll incorporate Yeah, that they'll way. be like, surprise! Of course, Abigail will be in the nesting box. We know where she will be. Bacon and eggs are done. Let's go get the brisket. Okay, so I've had this in here for a couple hours at 160 degrees, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. Oh yeah, there you go. That's the, the rest of the flat. 
Let me cut yes. Oh yeah. It's not stiff at all. Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and cut some of this. sad there is a fly in here always it's because i left the door open while i was trying to pull everything in and out hold on we're not quite done yet Ooh. still got another loaf from yes actually there's still a little bit left from the other one but protein bread made out of only eggs egg white protein which is just which is just powdered eggs, eggs. And a little bit of cream of tartar, but that just stabilizes the egg. You right? don't even need to use the cream of tartar, and the amount that you're using is like honestly negligible. I would like two slices of the bread because I'm gonna make me a brisket sandwich. Ah, that sounds actually pretty good. Brisket, bacon, and eggs. So we're we're gonna represent tonight all four food groups. Right. We've got beef and yep. brisket. Mm-hmm. We have butter and two forms. We have the butter mayonnaise and I'm putting on the bread right now. And then I also, from when we did that great butter showdown, yes. I have some of that uh, Parma butter. Oh, yum. So that's like on top of the eggs. Then we have uh, bacon, which was the bacon that we actually smoked yesterday. So I just wrapped it up. We put it in the freezer because that's gonna make it easier to slice right and then uh so that we have that and then of course we have eggs in two forms you have eggs on our plate and then we also have the egg bread look at this look at this so the brisket came out really good you can see that see if i have the camera over us i don't know if it's actually filming but you can see it came out really good in the sous vide so if you have a sous vide and you have a bunch of leftover. It'll bring it back uh, to life. It does definitely bring it back to life. It doesn't overcook it. I think honestly having it rest so long yesterday, the point even overcooked just a little bit. But I'm really interested. And and the eggs, that's They're perfect. runny. They're not runny. That's not runny. And you have bread. I have bread. So that helps. That is that is not a runny egg. That is an over well egg. Over over medium well. So I'm gonna have on the beef, I'm trying to bacon, bacon, butter, and eggs challenge. I'm actually having a sandwich. How you cool are. is that? How is it? Perfect. So it's about 6 30. We have to do our live stream. Mm -hmm. We had a lot to do today. And here's the thing this is really our first meal. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you. I had those couple of slices of bread this morning, which is just some egg. I was having my coffee. And then um, that little bit of the butter mayo. And that's it. Now, I know a bunch of people are asking when we premiered day four today, can I please have the butter mayo? We are, if everything goes well tomorrow. Yeah. And my phone shows up. That's the most important thing. And Priorities. nobody gets into a car accident. Please, Lord, no. Uh, we're going to try to film that recipe tomorrow. So it should be out mm. sometime by the beginning of next week. Uh, the problem is, is right now we're vlogging every day and everybody wants to see what's going on. We're trying to get that up the next yeah. day, but we also have other videos. Like we have interviews with Autumn and stuff. So right now you're pretty much going to get two videos a day. I hope Sorry. that's okay. If you, if we're overloading you, can you let us know down in the comments? Like, do you not want us to do two videos? Do you, do you want us I'm to combine these daily vlogs? Yep. Let us know down in the comment section. So we're going to try to do all that tomorrow. Tomorrow's like a film day. Mm -hmm. Got all my cutting down. And because I have a game tomorrow night and then Saturday I have games and then Sunday the kids are coming over for a barbecue. Mm. Wait till they find out what they're having. <laughs> Beef, bacon, butter, and eggs. Mm. I don't know what I like better. The brisket is amazing, especially when you eat a piece of fat. Like I said, I think the flat got a little overcooked just because we let it rest for too long. It rested for like six hours before we decided to, let's put it in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Um... But the bacon, like what I like about homemade bacon is it doesn't shrink. Yeah, it's like wrapped size. This is really good bacon. You know what's even better than brisket? Butter on brisket. Mm-hmm. How about this? The best. How about a sandwich? People say beef, bacon, butter, and egg. 
That's gonna be boring. How about a brisket sandwich, brisket with bacon, egg, and then butter on top of that? Mm-hmm. That's not boring. Mm. With butter mayonnaise. That's not boring. Zero total carbs. Okay, maybe one because of the egg. Yeah, sorry egg. Mm. Oh. It's too good. It's too good. It was so good. Why are you smiling? Because I had such a good time on the live stream tonight. <laughs> I know we go like really long. We don't know how to shut up. We don't know how to show, shut up, but it's just so nice to just be with the family. That is just, it, it makes my Thursday. I look forward to Thursday starting on Sunday. You want to go check out that bacon on the smoker? Do I want some meat candy? Yes. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, we did uh, chicken wings for the kids. Oh. Ooh, that looks good. Don't burn yourself. chicken wings. <laughs> no. That looks really good. But one of these plates is not like the other one. One of these plates is not for us. Look at them though. Those those look good. Look at these. Look at these wings. I mean, the kids are going to love those. No sauce, no seasoning, no. nothing. No, I didn't put anything on it. We literally took them out of the freezer mm. to let them defrost. Just smells like backyard smoke. Who wins? Chickens or bacon? Chicken or bacon? Meat candy. Let's see how that came out. Mmm. Mmm. Bacon wins. Wow. Mmm. Oh my gosh, it's so fatty. Mmm. It like explodes in your mouth. And melts. So this is the meat and this is the fat. Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh, look at this piece. Mm. It's like all fat. Mm. A uh hot. -huh. Dang, that's good. Dink it? Dink. Mmm. This is so good. Mm. This is crazy. I thought the little ones wouldn't taste as good as the big ones, but the little ones are like action-packed. The little packed. ones are better. They're oh. action-packed. Put those away. Mm. I'm going to eat the whole plate mm. right now. I'm going to get those away from you. Poor thing. Let's put them away for tomorrow. Mm -mm. They're not lasting. Overall, good day. We had one meal again. I don't know why. Well, this is like second Second meal. meal. But I'm full. I really am full. I really don't even, I can't even think about it. I, I'm very thirsty though. I want to drink a bunch of water. I, I do need too. more water. Um, what do we got planned for tomorrow? We're going to do brisket again tomorrow. Okay. We've got some more bacon wrap steak. I'm thinking about doing some like brisket and eggs as one of our meals. I have a football game. And then uh, just work on some videos and, and kind of hang out tomorrow. Huh? I love it. Now if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the other videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. It's your turn. Oh, but whether you go this way or go this way, don't forget to go this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we taste something delicious, you'll be alerted to it. Till tomorrow. Bye. Bye.